Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Sincerely KSO. If it is your first time to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, my honeys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for sticking with me. You've been amazing this past few months. Thank you for your patience and your understanding. As I navigate pushing out content to you guys, you are all appreciated. Thank you so, so, so much. It's very important. I want you to know that I understand your frustrations and how I have not been as regular as I used to be, but just hold out, hold out, just hold on, and I'll be back in full force as soon as I can, okay? Much love. All right, we're going to take a look at Chris Rock and his latest special, Selective Outrage. Listen, I've been waiting for him to say something after that infamous slap. Everyone has been talking but him, and um, I know a lot of comedians use their stage and their platforms to address certain issues, whether it be political, social, whatever it is. But I am just, I heard that he went in and I want to hear it. I'm not going to put up the full length reactions over on Patreon. If you want to watch it, head over to Netflix. This part, this reaction and commentary will contain clips and my opinion as to the things that he said. Um, Chris isn't running a cult. He, he, he's open to conversation and I love how his mind works as well. Just like Dave Chappelle, right? They're both amazing, amazing and intelligent men. So I want to hear what he has to say. And, um, I'm looking forward to watching it and I'll give you my feedback. So there will be moments where I pause this. This is, I think, an hour special. I'm going to be cutting it up in to address certain topics that he addresses as well. So I just want to get that out there so everyone knows. And they're like, why is she pausing? Because that is what I'm going to do. Also, to avoid any copyright issues, as you know, I'm staying clear of those. <laughs> I'm staying clear of those so there will be a lot of pausing, intermittent stops and giving my feedback. And the clips might not be full length, like I said. If you want to know, it might be best for you to watch the special before watching my reaction to it. So that way, it won't be your first time as well. All right. Um, please subscribe to this channel and leave your comments as well. Mm. In the old days, if somebody wanted your job, they just worked harder than you. Mm. Now if somebody wants your job, okay. they just wait for you to say some dumb shit. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Try to get you with one of them woke traps. Mm. Say, hey, we going to a gay wedding tomorrow. How do you feel about that? Oh, it's good. It's good. <laughs> Don't fall into the woke trap at all. Now, mm. I have no problem with the wokeness. I have no problem with it at all. I'm all for social justice. Mm -hmm. I'm all for, for marginalized people mm -hmm. getting their rights. Mm -hmm. The thing I have a problem with mm. is the selective outrage. Selective outrage. Selective outrage. Yes. Everybody, you know what I'm talking about. One person does something, they get canceled. Somebody else does the exact same thing, nothing. Mm. You know what I'm talking about. Yes. You know, like the kind of people that play Michael Jackson songs but won't play R. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Same crime. Different time. One of them just got better songs. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, I play starting something. It's a party. Uh, well. I play bump and grind. Now you an activist. <laughs> so everybody's scared. Everybody full of shit. Oh wow. You know, I'm I'm in my old neighborhood the other day. I bumped into my my good friend Fred. Hadn't seen him in years. Mm. Hadn't seen him in years. Fred got a new job at AT and T. Okay. Mm. So I'm like, hey Fred, how's the job? And Fred's like, ooh, I love the job. It's a safe space. I feel seen. I feel heard. There's a lot of diversity. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, nigga, it's me. <laughs> what, you think I'm wearing a wire or some shit? <laughs> what the fuck you talking about safe space? <laughs> nigga, you did eight years for manslaughter. <laughs> 
Everybody's safe around you. Everybody's <laughs> full of shit. Motherfuckers <laughs> typing out woke ass tweets on on a phone made by child slaves. Oh. You need to cut it out, man. Not only is everybody full of shit. Not only is everybody full of shit, every business is full of shit. Okay. Everybody you do business, they don't even tell you about the product no more. Mm. They just tell you how much charity they do. Mm -hmm. They say, we give back. We like to give back. We don't even like the money. <laughs> <laughs> we just give back. Mm. I'm, I'm in the mall the other day. I went by that store. Uh, what's this thing? Uh, Lululemon. Oh. Lululemon. I walked by. And in the window of every Lululemon, there's a sign that says, we don't support racism, sexism, discrimination, or hate. And I'm like, who gives a fuck? <laughs> You're just selling yoga pants. Yoga <laughs> I don't need your yoga pants politics. <laughs> Tell me how you work on ball sweat. <laughs> What are you talking about, man? <laughs> and then I'm watching the game the other night. There was a at, there was a commercial for a Subaru, commercial for Subaru, and it said, uh, "For every Subaru we sell, we'll donate two hundred and fifty dollars to your favorite charity." And I'm like, "Who gives a fuck?" I'm like, "Subaru, you want to help me out? Why don't you just sell me the car for two fifty less?" <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Lululemon. <laughs> we don't support racism, sexism, discrimination, or hate. They sell hundred dollar yoga pants. <laughs> hundred dollar yoga pants. They hate somebody. <laughs> <laughs> they hate the poor. <laughs> Correction, they don't sell $100 yoga pants. They sell $100 non-racist yoga pants. Oh my God. I think I speak for the entire audience tonight. When I say most people in this crowd would prefer a pair of $20 racist yoga pants. <laughs> Like, like yoga pants that whistle nigga as you walk. <laughs> nigga, nigga, no. nigga, nigga, no. nigga. Are my pants whistling nigga? <laughs> Can't wear these to Cherry Hill. <laughs> yeah, we live in Baltimore tonight, baby. <laughs> we That is so funny, 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 funny. He's just getting warmed up. Okay, so like he, let's address the first part of what he talked about, about the wokeness and how everyone is walking on eggshells around people. People can't not only speak their mind, but they're, they're, I, almost everyone has to turn into a liar for fear of retribution. People are not having honest heart-to-heart -heart conversations anymore because as soon as you don't see eye-to-eye -eye with them, they're lashing out, ruining you, getting you fired, trolling you on social media, hating you, borderline sending a lot of people over the edge and close to suicide just because you don't agree with them. There is, it's almost as if, no, I don't agree with you, or and you don't give them a chance to express themselves. Um, it's almost a, a, a kind of cultic aggression of venom, just waiting to pounce on anybody and anything or any ideal. So humans are scared, businesses are scared, everybody's scared, right? And there also isn't the willingness to allow people repent or go like, oh, I must have made a mistake. Or, oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see it that way. Now here's my opinion about it. Like a person who says, um, the, I, I saw it especially during people, Black Lives Matter, and people were like, but all lives matter, and they genuinely because of course any 
sensible person would say all lives matter but when they say these things people almost went into a riot hate of rather than saying yes we do agree that all lives matter but the reason they're saying black lives matter is because so 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 and so there has to be a there has to be a chance to converse a, a moment to take your time and and listen not only hear but listen to what someone else is saying whether you agree with them or not give them a chance to express themselves the world wasn't built on your opinion alone and if you're truly living in a democratic you know society there should be the patience to converse that is just uh, respectfully you don't it's it this is we're talking about people's lives we're talking about their brain we're talking about we all grew up in different environments and those environments shaped our opinion so when you're conversing with someone who doesn't agree with you the first thing you should ask yourself is what created that opinion why this person thinks this way and how can i educate that person on it's not about agreeing there are a lot of people that i will not see eye to eye on certain issues political social religious whatever it is but you will never find me with a pitchfork marching across their house screaming for them to lose their job screaming for them to die no there are racists in my workplace. There are racists everywhere. As long as you're not trying to bring me down or get me fired, we can have a conversation. But if you're doing anything that is opposed to the law, you're doing anything or saying anything that is opposed to the law, then I will have to correct you. If you're breaking the law, then I'll have to report you to the police. If you're going outside HR's rules for our company, then I'll have to report you to HR. But I'm not going to tell you to go you know, put a rope around your neck. No, why? Why? The reason you are the way you are is because of the information you have access to. Let me show you this side. A lot of people who are hateful have never been to the other side. They probably don't travel. They've never been outside their environment. They probably haven't read books. They probably have, like, they, there's a wide reason for people to be the way they are. All you have to do is start with that conversation, start with that engagement, create communities where people can express themselves and then you can say, check them. It, it's probably, I would even say, it's after that, that education and that opportunity, if you're hell bent on being, then you step away. If you're, but if they want to like physically harm you, then you go through the proper route, report to the police and get them arrested. Like that goes without saying. But start somewhere. The internet has just provided, social media has just provided an avenue for people to just ur, ur, burn, kill, die. Like, there is no patience. You want rat, you don't want to beat the flower anymore to make pancakes. You just want to mm, get get give it to me now. Be rearranged. Your mind should be fixed before I get here. No.